What's up guys, it's G and K with TGC and we're gonna be showing you how to build this ice chest today. So, we're just doing an Astros themed ice chest. We're not gonna show you how to do the logo, 3D logo or nothing. If y'all do wanna see that, just let us know. We'll make another video on exactly how we do our logos and how we get this glossy glass-like look and how we do our 3D's logos. These should be pretty easy to figure out. But if not, we can go ahead and make a video about that too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow our channel so you can learn how to build more builds like this today. And always, if you have any questions or concerns or ant, like if you want to know answers, just let us know. Yeah, smash that like button. Side. All right, so the first thing we're going to do in this build is we're going to go ahead and get the legs cut out. Now we're going to be making eight cuts at 34 inches. We're gonna be using some six foot cedar pickets. Now for these pickets, what we're gonna go ahead and do is cut off the ants. You're gonna use four boards, four cedar pickets to get your eight legs. You're gonna cut them at 34 inches. These are six foot long. So, you know, you do the math, you can get two boards out of these. Um, don't cut from here, you know, start from this side and set a stop block, slide it across and you can make the cut every single time. It's always gonna be the same. Got it. All right, so next step, we're gonna go ahead and create the front, yeah, the front part. We're gonna do the front part and the side part, but uh, what we're gonna do is cut 26 inches. So we're gonna use one board, we're gonna cut 26 inches twice, and then with the scrap, you're not gonna throw it away, just put it to the side, because we're gonna use it for the side pieces, which is gonna be another cut. So just go ahead and get two cuts out of each board, 26 inches, and we're gonna be doing, using four boards. All right, so what you're gonna go ahead and do now is use the scrap pieces that you got, and we're gonna go ahead and cut these at 15 and five eighths. Yeah, 15 and five eighths on these scrap pieces. I already cut one, but uh, you can set up a stop block and you should be able to use your fence if you have a, a saw like this. But you're gonna cut four of these with the, uh, the scrap pieces and then you're gonna grab another piece of wood and cut four more for a total of eight. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna be doing is putting the frame together. It's pretty much like a planter box or any other type of box with legs. It's just where the ice is just actually just gonna sit in. And what we're gonna be using to build this is just a regular uh, nail gun, some correlated brad nails. These are one inch, yeah, one inch nails, and then some wood glue, and that's it. So what we're gonna do first is start working on the sides. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and just grab two, two of your leg pieces and then one of your side pieces, which was like the 15 to 5 eighths one, right? 15 5 eighths? I think it was the one that was like 15 inches. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is grab some wood glue, wood glue the top. Oh, you wanna make sure the side that you're using that's gonna be face down is gonna be your best looking part of whichever side of the board. And I like these sides better. So these are gonna be the parts that shows on the outside. And now what you're gonna go ahead and do is just wood glue the front, or wood glue right here. Put a good amount on there, so it's gonna be holding everything together. Go ahead is just make sure you want to line up both sides. This is flush, this is flush, and you're gonna nail it all the way down. We're only go we only went three boards down. We'd originally cut four boards for each one, but I think it just looks too bulky. So or like we'll see when weird. we put it in. Like yeah. you'll see. What I'm probably gonna do is cut one of those boards in half and then only go half a board down here. But I like the look like this, but I think it can go just a little bit more. Also, um, try to get the glue out if you can, especially before it dries up. All right, now the way that I do this side, these are gonna be the front and your back. 
So you're gonna need to make a gap this big that's gonna fit through here all the way through. So grab one of the gauges, put them on, put it right here. I line it up, make sure it's perfect. And then if it's the same as this, let's grab this, put it on here, measure where we need to go, straighten it, make sure it's good on both sides. And then, you know, wood glue it, put it down, and you're gonna do that three boards down, or four boards if you wanna go four or three and a half. But uh, we're probably gonna go three and a half, but right now we're just gonna go three boards down. piece put on but uh, after we got put it on we went ahead and wood burned it Kelly got ahead Kelly went and wood burned it uh, she didn't burn the back side so you're not gonna see the back side she just burned the bottom and the front now you don't have to wood burn it you can leave with the original color uh, you can stain it you can paint it but we just like the wood burn look okay so this is how we put it together so you can see how this fits per pretty much perfectly right here you would put a nail in right here. You want to wood glue this whole thing, a strip, and then uh, put your nail into the top. Go ahead, line it up on the bottom, get it in, then put you some nails all the way up. So it should be a pretty good amount of nails. Make sure you got a good amount of wood glue, and then do that all the way around. that we are using on this build is the igloo marine it's the 50 quart holds 76 cans three days of ice get the one with the drain and because without the drain piece you have to drill it yourself and it's too much work it's like five bucks for the drain i think all right now what you're going to go ahead and do is flap your wings no all right so what we're going to be doing now is putting the cooler in to get the base so the same wood that we're using you can put it up here, and then you push it down, push it down. No, you gotta do this side. You can't do this side. Get ready to cut that off. You're gonna have to end up cutting those sides and those sides off with a grinder. But you wanna get that flush right there. And then, same thing on the back. Once you got it flush all the way around on both sides, what you're gonna go ahead and do is grab a two by four. Cut it the lengths from here to here. I'll get you the dimensions here in a second. So we just go ahead and cut a two by four and we cut these dimensions at 14 and 5 eighths. And the way we put these on is we come from the bottom and we just throw it up there like that. And we use a mallet to hit it in and get it flushed with the bottom part. I like to get it right here on these sides because this is where I think it would hold up the best rather than just here. This has a little support, so put it on there and then we're gonna just go ahead and screw some screws in. All right, so once you go ahead and got the base done, what you're gonna go ahead and do is take the cooler out. I already took it out, but you're gonna take the cooler out, take the drain off, and once you got the drain off, you're just gonna grab you a marker, a Sharpie, something that'll fit in there. We just use a regular Sharpie. You're gonna take it off and then you're going go in there try to get in the middle and then just mark your piece of wood on the outside so pretty much what we're going to do is find that hole where it was which you want in space right here or you want to drill bit driver whatever it is you're going to cut a hole if it looks something like this on the inside just go ahead and cut it off that's not going to be seen 
Okay, so once you take your drain system off, you should have these pieces right here. So this piece, you don't need it. You get rid of that. You're gonna need this, the gasket, this piece, and this one right here. What you wanna go ahead and do is grab this piece, put it in here, Let's put it to the side. You're gonna grab your riser and your, this is a coupling, right? Mm -hmm coupling these are both half inch half inch coupling and half inch riser you're gonna put it inside here and then you're gonna take this piece and you're just gonna cut it off All right. it's trash so you grab this this is gonna go on this side I don't get a better view but what you're gonna go ahead and do is Put it like this, get this pretty good and tight in here. Put it on this side. Come back through here on this side. The hole is, just put it through. Make sure it could stay in there pretty good. Come back on this side. Use the same gasket, another piece of the original. Plug it in there. And then just tighten it. Man, you wanna get it pretty snug. You don't want to over tighten it though, because if you over tighten it, it'll come off. And I've had had problems with it come off before. So just get it a, a little snug. What we're going to do now is go ahead and cut it with the grinder. We're going to cut it up with the cutoff grinder, and then we're going to clean it up with the tiger disc or just a regular quarter inch grinder, grinding disc. But What I'm gonna do go, is go ahead and cut a uh, orange piece out. So now that we got a four by four piece, what I like to do is just come over here and I cut the edges off. And it might not be perfect, but I like the style and it's close to the same. So this is gonna go here. What we're gonna do is put this on here and see we need it to be, we need it to be cut right here. So I already installed this inside the what is it? What kind of tube is that? The one that's in there? The riser, the coupling. Yeah, the coupling. So I put the I put the riser in the coupling, I tighten it, and I put some man, I was forget that damn word. What's it called? Um it's like silicone or like glue. Yeah, silicone. Any kind of it's like a silicone. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is put this right here, find out I need to cut right there. So I'm gonna push this whole ice chest as far as I can out so I can get a good cut on it. So I'm gonna use the bandsaw. Putting it on, hitting it straight, making it look even, as good as possible. And then we're just going to shoot it in. Now we're going to put some more silicone on here. And then put this on and push it to the edge. And then put a screw in here. Two screws. Hi. Okay. So, where we left off, we had just finished the drain. Now we we're starting on the lip part. So, I recommend you doing this before you do the drain, but I don't know. Anyway, so if you do it after, get another cooler. <laughs> Make sure you have the same cooler. <laughs> we happen to have an extra cooler, one of the older coolers that we used to have, but it's the same style, just different colors and a different, um, this one doesn't have a drain. So, this is when we were making the drain in the coolers. Anyway, same style, same quart, same liters, blah, 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 right? Alright, so now we're making the lip part on the for the ice chest. 
So what we did is we got two cuts at 22 and 3 quarters of the cedar fence post. 22 and 3 quarters. We're doing this, measuring it. What is that? This is at 1 and 7 eighths. We measured it. It gave us our lip part that we like. So what we did is we came over to this color. It's the same. Grab your pencil. And then you're going to come underneath here and draw a straight line all the way across to the edge. And then the line should look just like this. I don't know if y'all could see that. Yeah. And uh, you can do it on this one too. After you got the cooler installed, it just makes it a little harder. You have to kind of get a pencil inside of there. And but you gotta be careful because there's a gap between the piece of wood and yeah. this little lip. It makes it a little bit harder to install it like that. That's but why I said I recommend you doing it before so you can just do it like this, but whatever floats your boat yeah if you're really having trouble you can actually just take out the ice chest unplug that part right there the this this part pull it this way and you and should be able to pull the whole thing out yeah all right so after you got these two pieces cut out Next, what we did next was cut two pieces of cedar at 19 and three quarters and then we ripped it down to four and a half inches and we just painted them you want to paint them before you actually install them it's just easier to paint or if you're going to paint them if not you know you can put them on already but if you're going to paint them go ahead and paint it before you actually install it but to install it you just throw some wood glue on top all the way around Throw the pieces on top and just nail it in. And we had to grind off these little nubs right here. So it will just sit flush and not have a problem like going in and out. All right. And then, so to get this frame, this is the top of the lid. And we did one cut at 23 and three quarters, which is the longer side. And then another cut at 14 and three eighths. And then what you want to do is rip them down in half. When you rip it down in half, on this table saw, we have to rip it down, down at 2, two and 11 16 Even though half is 2 and 3 quarters because these boards are 5 and a half inch, um, you got to go 16th off because you got to take an account to the width of the blade. blade. Yeah. So after you have so them yeah. put together, it'll give you four pieces. Yeah, and just go ahead and glue up the sides, glue up the sides, then put Nail some brand nails in. So we used three inch screws, sink hold it, screw them in, two on each side. Whenever you're using the screws too, whenever you put them in, make sure you go a little bit higher. So you want to be kind of like right here, because if you go too low, it'll show through to the bottom and you don't want to mess up your lid. So, you know, be on the higher side. And uh, we come all the way to the edges, the left side, right side, all the way here to the end, rather than the middle, because if it's just in the middle, it'll flop over. So two screws on each side and should be good. Next, we're gonna do the top. All right, so to do the top part, you're gonna make three cuts at 23 and three quarters. So it's the same size as these ones from here to here. I think it's 23 and three quarters, right? Yeah, 23 and three quarters, three cuts. And then you're gonna take it down to your table saw. Well, you're gonna take it down because if you look on the end, it's one inch. So you gotta take one inch divided by three and it's about five sixteenths. It's like a sixteenth off, but I mean, if you go three eighths, it ends up being like three sixteenths off. So you want to take off five sixteenths of, of an each inch board. off of each board. So we're gonna come down to the table saw, and these boards are five and a half inches. So five and a half minus um, what was it taking off? Five sixteenths ends up being five and three eighths. So we put it at the five and three eighths mark. And now we're just going to rip them all three boards. So once you got them cut, you just go ahead and bring them over here. Put them back on, put them on top. Line them up, everything good. Wood glue it and then now them in just like did everything else. Alright, so this is one of the pretty easy parts. 
to put the handle on, you want to cut another piece of wood for the size from here to here. It's on end up being like four and thirteen sixteenths. Uh, yours can vary. The other one's like the other side's like four and eleven sixteenths. So just take a measurement from here to here, cut a piece of wood out, put it on there, and then you're gonna grab your handle, put it on, and screw it in about right here. All right, so what you wanna go ahead and do is throw your uh, front handle on. You can throw your bottle openers. I know they have the bottle openers, the, other, the little catch on it. You can throw stars on here. Um, we put a 3D logo on it. Houston Astros logo on top. The H-Town right there. Bottle opener with the drains. Uh, your handles on the side. And we use just regular, what do you call these? Uh, hinges some little hinges right here on the back two hinges so you can open it up and when you open it up just like this 